for yet another episode of Shark TV, and boy, is it going to be exciting. I'm Harris Wilson. And I'm Vince Van Patten. As you probably know, Thanksgiving is coming up, my second favorite holiday behind, obviously, Columbus Day. Uh, I remember my first Thanksgiving. I was 13 and fresh out of the Air Force on an honorable discharge. Come home to find my wife and... Easy, Stoll, easy! All right, this just in. Jenny H.C. and Will Rosenthal in the field talking to students about Thanksgiving. Hello, all. It's holiday time. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm here with Kenneth Kenneth from Connecticut. Ken, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Children. Oh, I make this like biscuit thing. It's kind of horrible. Stuffing. Got, got a stew. It's a, a potato stew. Like I, um, I hollow out a biscuit. Pumpkin pie. And then you mix some pumpkin pie in there. You get some sweet, but you also combat the sour. Bacon. Bacon cheddar ranch. It, and I put mashed potatoes and turkey in it. Um, definitely the mashed potatoes and gravy. No doubt. No doubt. Then you put some turkey in there, you throw some turkey at the wall. And then I cover it in gravy, and it's just like this messy, like oozing, just mess. It's delicious. Mr. Perry, what is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is a wonderful time to give thanks, but here's my biggest problem with Thanksgiving. As you guys both know, being veterans and professionals here at Malibu High, we do research every Thursday, don't we, down there at the beach? Yeah. What's up with these pilgrims and Thursdays, huh? Uh, well, my family's going vegan right now, so... What's your favorite family tradition for Thanksgiving? Oh, I don't like Thanksgiving. I cherish that we're all together. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is having my grandparents stay over. Well, my birthday is usually on Thanksgiving, so maybe my birthday is pretty cool. Well, normally we hunt for our like turkey or whatever. What's your absolute favorite food to eat on Thanksgiving? Turkey. Sweet potatoes covered in marshmallows. Uh, turkey. Turkey and gravy. Oh, pumpkin pie. Oh, and birthday cake. Oh, and I like the string beans. You know the string beans? The long ones? Back to you guys! Outstanding work, HC and WR. Well, the high school musical Xanax, Xanadu, is dropping soon. Here's an advertisement. brings me back to my skating years until my accident in 1999 changed my life forever. Go back, Vinny. And strap on your floaties, Malibu, because it's time to dive into this week's splash of KP with KP. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name's Kip Rains. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about bomb safety. What you do when those big boys go off. You're probably wondering why I'm in a cabinet right now and why I'm not out in the nature with the, with the rains. I was devastated, devastated by the, the storm, Hurricane Cindy, and she, he, she hit me and I had to go in this cabinet. The bomb threat that was issued a couple days ago, well, a couple weeks ago, I mean, rather, was a Martian who is actually trying to get space debris, which is from, which is debris from space that you can make into a bomb. It's more, more like a nuclear bomb, like a, you make a dirty nuke, if anyone's heard of that. But, um, Basically, this Martian had a lot of, a lot of boys in high places. Basically, and he wanted to make, wanted to make this school his his first target. We cannot keep calling these bomb drills earthquake drills or fire drills. It's very different. A bomb is a contained blast, while an earthquake is a shock wave that goes out along the canyons and the roads and everything for the rest of your life. Okay, oh, we got a. So that's uh, on the line. On line one. Yes. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa, watch out, this is some breaking news. Oh! Gulf Spill 2.0. It's happening, it's coming to your town. You better watch out. There's a bunch of animals, they got hurt. There's about 10 to 15 animals we need to rescue right now. They're all swimming, they just can't get out. This oil's thick. It's a thick oil. You try to get out of this oil, you're gonna be sucked back in. What you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta pour a lot of fire on there, you gotta light the oil. So it burns off, burns all the, burns all the, the top. One year I actually caught, was caught up in an oil spill. 
<laughs> actually off the Gulf of Mexico, the first one. And let me tell you, it was a bloodbath. There were boys and girls fighting over what birds to eat, fighting over penguins, just, just a lot of animals, it just hurt. From all of us at KP Reigns, I just want to wish you a wonderful day, and uh, don't let the hurricane get you down, don't let anything get you down, just stay chipper, don't get too cold, you might get hypothermia. That's what my father got back in the war. Shocking. How do you feel, Vinny? Shocked. Well, on that note, I got a train to catch, so from all of us in the studio, thanks, and have an eventful day. How's your mother ass? Oh, she's just, she's fantastic. How'd the surgery go? Well, you know, it's still up there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>